Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning. So what are we doing today, Ryan? So we're going to be doing the Prairie Star. It's an AccuQuilt die. Um, and we'll be doing this pattern that's featured on the back. That's that's absolutely, isn't it great assistance so far? <laughs> anyway, you know, in case everybody wants to know where is Eleanor, guess where she is? In Amish country with her cousin for a week, having fun and quilting and you name it. I'm for sure she's having a lot of fun that she even forgot today is Friday. <laughs> Oh, no. I won't forget it. It's my sister's birthday today, so it should be a fun and excited one. You know, and in other hand, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Austin to celebrate her 50th birthday, and she, out of my 10 siblings, she is the only um, one in Ohio, and her is in Austin, so they always felt left out. And I don't even know how in the world this happened, but out of 10 siblings, nine of us went oh, to her birthday. Wow. And, and it was beautiful. Her husband surprised her with his you know, birthday, and, and today is her real birthday. And she said she, she's still living that dream that all her brothers and sisters went to Austin. <laughs> so that was a very, very fun. My mom enjoyed it so much. So before we show the quilts, we should look at the oh. Radiant Star quilt behind us. I love it. The Radiant Star corners are very similar to the Prairie Star. Mm -hmm. So that's why we hung it. You won't be able to make this quilt, but you can with the Radiant Star quilt in a day book. Well, thank you for telling me, and I'm going to tell it. This one has is to me like a four patch, and the one that we're going to do is like nine patch. And you will see when I start showing you right here. And the technique is the same. OK? But anyway, so this is our demos. And our right, yes, please. This is what we will be demoing on it. OK? Isn't it pretty? Yeah. But wait, it's more. Look, Stephanie, what did she go and did? Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I love it. I love her, what she did. And it's so funny because Stephanie, well, we caught it like about a month ago, right? I have to say something about Stephanie. She, um, and I remember her coming weekly, and then somehow she was making a statement like, I hate little pieces. I hate little pieces. And I finally say, oh, she's working in the star. You know, I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> but then she came all excited and said, look what I did. I finished. It's so fun. Isn't it, you know? I just think it's so beautiful when you do, you know, things that you feel like you accomplished something. And, and then least but not less, remember in last month she brought us this quilt. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it's, isn't it beautiful? I, I'm going to tell you eventually, yeah. So, but I just think they're all so beautiful. I just want to say I bought every one of those fabrics back in the boutique section. <laughs> We have it all. Any fat fa uh, uh, fabrics you co and for that collection, or you could do bundles. And I learned that I can easily do with a fed eight instead of uh, um, a fed quarter or a quarter of a yard. So we will show you, try to teach you something so we cannot entertain you like Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> but we will try to demo as, you know, as much as we can for you, OK? And uh, let's go back here and try to cut it. Me, I because I use solid color, look how, oh, don't burn yourself. Look this one, how easily you don't have to do anything, but just like if you want to pick three pinks three, or three oranges or two and two of this color, they're all right here for you. You see it? Mm -hmm. So I really love this little bundle this way. One, one thing that I know I was taught by my mother years ago, she, she does a lot of embroidery, hand embroidery, you know what I'm saying? 
and she always did t if this would help you. She always told me you need to have at least two colors of each family, but it's better to have three colors of thread. And to me, that's why I do the same thing with fabric. You know, because when you have um, a quilt that has just a very few uh, fabrics, it's so hard when you want to use four different colors. But the more color is that gradation is really pretty. So and she's so using fat eights. But mm -hmm. you can use fat quarters. This is a fat A too. Yes, and you have uh, for two quills, like Stephanie did. I will show you. This one, I I think is just beautiful. And you know, I made this. I use these colors. I tell her, Ryan, I made my autumn leaf with these in the Akia quill book. I was going to show you later, but since he brought it to us, should we show the quilt? It's in the corner right there in the book right here I put it right there on the table but I I think because um, because these colors are are they don't jump so much in value whatever it is I think it will look a very beautiful perfect all right I can open the book and the page that is in it I think it will look pretty on it for people that likes brine so this one is made there. from the same group yeah. that she's showing you, yeah, see but it? it's a fat quarter. No, no, that's a fat A too, all right. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. You can get, you have to buy extra for the, uh, the Yarish tells you here is a fat A that we, uh, we do that. So I just wanted to show you that. You this is in, um, uh, go outside the box, okay? And then now the Hebrew and might as well show all this. Uh, or Ryan showed me another pattern that AccuQuilt, I did not print, but AccuQuilt has another of the star with, uh, with uh, bare spot. Oh, do you have that pattern? I have the pattern right here, but I, I have it in my book, but I didn't print it for you ladies. I will show you that pattern. And then all it is is four paws, and then also is. It, it, you, the way that it is made is with two colors, you know, two lights and two darks, but it's just a different placement. In fact, I have a black right here, all right, and I have all that, yeah. And, and so it's just like I always go and, and look for what pattern is my favorite technique. There it is. That's how the black is supposed to be in the other pattern. And I already had made this star for a little sample, so I didn't undo it. But also on this particular one, if you really want to go with this, and I will show you in the pattern later, yeah. you're supposed to have two opposite corners with a, with a light gray or so on. I think I, my gray was a little bit too light, but I think you can see the difference, right? You can see it? So it's really, really pretty. Yes. So what are we going to emphasize mostly on the, the one that has the color that rotates and tell you all the things that happen. Oops, I have to go down because I didn't want to slit. I know if I step on something, it go, those, those things. So what we will do, and I'm going to, uh, Ryan has his, I already cut um, half of my, my colors. Okay, and our Ryan is going to place them in there, and we're going to have that going, and this we'll use it later. Okay, <coughs> this I'm going to show to you what, how I'm going to use all this. See, I only have here, um, I don't know if Eric can see that, but I already have here one, two, and see how I had at least three colors that I tell you of some family color. And then my next one, I have um, two, three greens, and then one like gray in my set. And fit um, right here. See how the gradation is that way too far for you, Eric, maybe. But, but do, you, do you see it? And how it flows, and then you see it in your, in your quill here, how it really flows and jumps, okay? On it, so that's that. So I didn't want to spend so much time here and cutting, but showing you what we do do. And then there, I, I know there's some- Let's look at the die. Maybe show the die first. 
Great, this is the right. dye. I know over there. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> there, I forget. This is the dye, and it has A, B, and C parts. This is your diamond, this is your corners, and this is your side triangles. And then the way they, they lay it out, I, I don't know, it's for a reason. I always say, why they leave this open space? But maybe because it's in an angle that they cannot get so close to the edge. That's the only thing I can think of it. So what Stephanie said is that she researched it and that they uh, did the arrangement that way so they can cut different colors with different numbers. Very, uh, going to the same thing that they just did. In that star, you see the very center, you need eight. But the next round, you need 16. Then the next round, you need 24. That's so exactly is that what it is? Okay, and then so on. So there we go. Okay, that's a very good thing. So anyway, there's our die, and you already showed the paper thing. Huh? So what I done, on my thing, no, this way. I, I say, well, I don't want to do this and ruin all this, so I turn it. Let me see if it hits that. I put them in here, and I always draw a little lines myself. Um, and I'm going to show you how I, see, I always go over and look and see. So that's that. There you go. There you go. So she was showing that she aligned this with the tip. Yeah. See it? Yeah. And she also drew a line along the side that she's lining up. That's, that's very handy to me. Yes, it is very handy. And I'm just so away from my rotary cutter. I'm going to just go ahead and cut this in half. I know Elle sometimes likes to cut more layers, but I learned that it's just better just to, to do what they're telling us, no more than six layers. And then if I fold this strip, it's eight layers, and I don't want to do it now. So, but I don't need to go and cut squares, so I just say I'm going to fold this in fourths and line it up right there to cut my squares, okay? And this one, the reason I don't want to cut this strip which is for my side triangles. I'm only going to fold it in half and then do one cut because then I turn it around and, and save me fabric when then I can cut it them all. Okay, so right here I'm going to line it up there and I leave that tail there and there is that. <coughs> I know I have it there, so I'm going to leave it a little push to go in first. Okay. Always keep a little scissor handy in case you really have to clip something. <laughs> and Orion going to start putting it in because we need 36 sets. I thought I was here for moral support. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're going to just put them on top of that green one. So I'm gonna <coughs> am I going to take this over there? Yeah, or, okay. or somewhere th I don't think. Because we we're done cutting, right? No, we're no. going to cut all that, okay. uh, all these, how they can get it all. So you can, yeah, yep. yep. You can snip. Yeah, okay. You've got a scissors there. See right here, what there? And then this is ready to put there. Good thing we had two scissors. We cut mm -hmm. this. Then I will, I will turn this over right away. Do you see why I did what I did? I didn't want it to waste my thing. So Avi Abler, I turned it. It was cut this way. So I, all I did, I turned it around to cut my other set. Okay, and I got it. And this, it's it's kind of fun if it, everything cuts really nicely. Look, you just. Have patience, that's what I say to myself, because otherwise we make such a mess, you know? Even just one little thread can make you a big mess. And the thing is, I feel like if you get yourself organized, you're going to see, which is sit on the sewing machine and sew. And a rind will press. <laughs> Sorry, so many little pieces to deal with, so.
you know, sometimes it's so, it goes so well, and sometimes I really have to be careful because if I'm not, then I'm going to put them everywhere, you know? There you go. All right, all right. Now, so look here. How about? Here. Just look at this. And look we'll at you. switch this? Nope, look at this. Just put them on top okay, of one. Okay, I got That's it. That's all. Got it? Uh -huh. And while you do that, I'm going to show them, see how it comes? Okay, so now I'm going to snip everything, get it ready while Ryan gives me my thumb. See, I'm going to just cut it right there. Okay, I'll save that piece. Then I'm going to knead this piece, see? Okay, then I just snap. There we go. Gosh, I meant to get a trash can, but I can put it right behind us, right? <laughs> and then you come to this again, you line it up, you just make sure that you, you're safe on it. Do you want to use the large mat or do you want to use two small mats? No, I'm going to do the large because I have this. Okay. That's a good thing. And I will have the other ones for the next one. Okay. okay. Oh, thank you. Much easier than it's a smaller pile here. So is this a time that we can use the that purple thing? No. Pick them up? Well, you can, but um, my purple thing mostly is my pressing and my quarter of an inch chicken, my quarter of an inch. Okay, and I think I have it by the sewing machine. All right. You get to have one, and I get to have one. Oh, okay. There we go. Good thing. There is that. Okay. There. And then this is the see. So I didn't waste it by me turning it around and I was able to cut my other side pieces. And this is plenty more. Okay. There. There we go. And then this is when I just will use these smaller. All right, will you hold that for oh me? I forgot where this one was. Any, a, anywhere. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> the color, yeah. <laughs> this one, then I just, instead of me using the big, big um, mat, I just use the smaller one when I don't have to cover the whole thing. I think it saves you blades too. I'm and not sure, but I'm just thinking. And it makes thinking. it quicker. Because <laughs> yes. now you can pull it all the way through. Yes, there you go. Okay. See, this this is no good, but then this is good. See, for some reason, sometimes works so good. There, and I need one more to cut from here. Okay, I do need it. This is dry. Oh, oops. Got it. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> when you just need uh, one or two, uh, what I do is you just put a little bit. <laughs> How many do I need two? Yeah, I have one here. Just put that in there. Oops, there we go. There we go. Voila. And that's it. Okay, so you have to do all your stuff. 
And now that you wanted to get it closer, um, why don't we just do this? Take this away. You already demo that. I am going to use nine. And you know, I'm going to have to tell you, when I first did it, and I say, why do I need nine if it has eight points? <laughs> and I say, but I don't, it doesn't make no sense. Why is this? Why do I have nine? And I finally figure it out, um, my pattern. It's right here. It's, oh, and if you want to change your own colors, make your copy that you got to hand out with this. Make it black and white and paste your colors that you want. You know, you just make it black and white. And this is a free download on the AccuQuilt site. Yeah. And so here we have, that's your quilt. Then that's your yardage. It tells you a quarter of a yard, but finally this is all we have to work with, ladies. So we will try to teach you. Here, this is um, um, the illustration that they start with, and then they start here, your numbers, which is so little, but then that's why we make this much bigger, right? This is what we did, this. I just asked Mary to print this. And I honestly, I kept counting, and I knew the instruction was telling me 36, so 36 times 4 is divided is 9. And I say, why do I need 9? Well, I finally say, well, that is a 9 patch. So I need nine, okay? At this point, which I'm going to do a great job while I do one, I want to separate all my colors, okay? But they're so close that I hope Orion doesn't get e excited and not put me my colors in the same order. You can come on this side, and I'm going to lay out my, my thing here, all right? Okay. Okay, you would do it on this side. Just make me those piles. Each pile? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you think you messed it up, just go like the, yeah. Okay? Got Make it. sure it's the same color because these are tricky. They're very close. Okay, we don't need these quills. Oops, that gun. Oh, he had his thing here. There we go. I'm gonna need this. So you're going to work in nine patches? I'm going to work in nine patches. That's all I'm going to do. Then I put that aside. And I'm going to um, show you what I did. I finally, after me starting it, you know, somebody that had anyone ever tell you, how do you eat an elephant? <laughs> That's how I remind myself of this. When I first see it, when I had not studied it, I say, how do I going to do this? This is too much work. But then I, after I really w looked at it with their few little instructions they had, and I say, oh, all it is is your number one, two, three, four, five. And then the next, the next um, nine patch, it's two, three, four, five, six. See it? And the next one, it is three, uh, four, five, six, seven. You see? So as your diamond, you can keep going uh, at this. And you know what I'm thinking after they did this? It's because they wanted to use the same amount of pieces in all theirs. Because when you have to do plain your colors, you don't have the same amount. But in this one, you have the same amount in each pile. You, you see what I mean? And then, then now it's time for me to sew, which I didn't trim it, but I will block it this way. Then I say, what I did, I'm going to line up my very first uh, uh, my very first diamond, and I'm going to put my clip there. So I know I'm working with that. Because I was working and I was messing it up. Uh, this is what Orion did for me right here, almost. We're there. Do you um, yeah, we need all the colors. Because that's my, um, this is my one, okay. three. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I get it. Yeah, I need all the colors there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to start with my, my one is this. 
See, I have it there, one, one, two, three, four, five. And yes, I would do a paste tab sheet if uh, you if uh, you think you didn't. But I kind of like put it in these boards, flannel boards, I really like it. And I just put it, I knew that's my one. Mm -hmm. So I will, I will line that up while Orion finish this. <coughs> and like I say, I'm gonna start right here with my diamond, <laughs> sorry. That's right. And <coughs> I'm gonna put it here so you can slide better. I'm going to, go, I, so I can turn it and, and then we move this. Are there two colors of white paint or are they? No. One is gray and one is very light green. Oh, oh, oh. See it? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. There. Okay. Yeah, and then two. See? And for me to do it, look at that. See it? Even now, then two. Okay, mm-hmm. And then five. That's okay, just stop. That's it. Yep. As long as you keep your colors like, you know, one through eight in order that you know. But yes, if uh, you just do not know what you're working with, you know, it's, n it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. So do you see the nine patch? I know I have a lot of stuff here. Maybe I don't need that, but I do need that. Do you want me to arrange nine patches? Yes, but you're going to, after, yes, buffer? after that, then you're going to move it this way okay. and you're going to rearrange my next nine patch. Got it. Before you do that, let me, let me show them there. So do you see your nine patch mm -hmm. right here? Yeah. Okay. So I say, well, now I want it, w w turn it around so I can start working on it. You see it? And it is really, truly a nine patch. Uh, one thing you really want to do in your machine to have that one hole, but this machine doesn't have that one hole thing, so I'm using my scrap. I'm not as organized as Gail it has all kinds of basket full of little scraps to do another quilt. So I put that piece there. Then you just flipped it. And I feel I, I found myself. I don't even use pens, but that's because you come here, you line up this, and see how wonderful everything is lining up? So I do not need pins because sometimes the pins are in my way, you know? And with there's such a tiny pieces, you just just stay precise and you quarter of an inch and that's it. <coughs> and what's your for you? 2.0. And if it's smaller, some people like to go to 1.8, you know? I'm okay with this, eh? okay? Do you think you can get us some Mary Ellen's um, numbered pins? That's a good one. Yeah, that's a very good one. I think I put a, a, a box in my sewing machine, but I never did it. But that's very good. That way you didn't. See? Do you want me to do all the nine patches or just one at a time? Um, you can continue in that one, and then when they she brings you the numbers, then you tell me what's the okay. next one on Got top. It. You see it? And you can do one, two, three, four, if uh, you think I'm going to. I'm going to. This is something that you don't want to speed yourself on it. And so then I do this so I don't confuse myself. I just go ahead and cut the next one and put it right here, okay? And this is when it comes so handy. This is my purple thing. So you don't never get up to go to the sewing machine. See? It, and I can't not believe it how well it presses. Okay, then I just add my next one. If you want to, all right, I don't need this right now, look. And you can put this one here and do, oops, is that gonna be too far for you? Uh, no, I, actually, okay. I'm gonna, I'll just extend it. Okay, so. Sure. All right, we'll have to repeat your question so they can hear it. Yes. So Brenda said, um, they say to press your seams open. Do you find 
to press your seams in one direction. Okay. Yes, that pressing the seams to one direction, I feel like it supports more your seams. And also, only you, pr to me, if you open your seams, it's just because you do not know what you need to do. So if you just analyze your pattern, and if you think you can press your seams to one direction, it's much better, it's stronger for you. So they will lock for you. I'll show you what I did. I kind of like always study the pattern and see what's going to happen to me, you know? And, and yes, I do that. That was beyond me. I couldn't figure it out. The, the pressing means? Uh, I decided to do it so they'd lock. I, I couldn't figure out which way. Good. And you're going to see that um, Anne is saying that she, it was beyond her, that she did not know how to uh, lock your seams. And yes, I, I kind of looked at it and I said, oh, this is great. So see, you keep flipping this. and. Everything, see it right, uh, it lines it up and lines up in the bottom. Gonna use this so you can see my whole patch here. Have you ladies ever had one of these by your sewing machine forever and ever? I had them since I was young girl. Well, maybe not this new. This is very new. But mine, I had a f my finger. I put it through my finger, and this finger, and then it's a clipper. I like them all the time. Okay, so here it is. So you see what direction I'm going. Again, you press in again towards the left. Okay. Maybe those are the little tips that you will find out that things were locked. Okay? See? Again, I'm pressing towards the left. Okay? So all your seams on those rows are all going one way? Yes. Okay. See it? And then it's still, there is still my nine patch. Do you see it? Okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to flip my second row to this. And again, everything lines up. You see it? And everything from the top to the bottom. You see it? Okay. And I think also why I went and got that purple thing. I said, what is that purple thing? Let me see if it works. I, we've seen it forever, but I never really used it. But I did not want to, I didn't want to be pressing this because everything is on the bias now. So I didn't want to press it and I distort my, my fabric. Okay, so that's why I started using the purple thing and I say, oh, this is cool. I don't have to get up ever and I can finish all my diamonds. Should I see first? Oh, look, it's okay. It's not bad at all. See? I line up the top and the bottom. And, and it, as long as you have your seam allowance, it's a quarter of an inch, everything will line up. Do you see the point right there? I don't know. Can, I, can you see it, Eric? Okay. And if you off a, a hair or so, don't bother. Just leave it. Nobody ever going to see it, OK? <laughs> I'm serious. It's when you rip it, you destroy them. So this purple thing is when I, and I after I was using it for what pressing, I said, what a quarter of an inch? Oh, I say that must be your quarter of an inch that you can always measure it. And that's what that is. <laughs> we sell lots of purple things here. <laughs> and I understand there is other colors there in the market. Yeah. Anyway, so you see how it's pressing right nice. And the best thing of these to me, this purple thing, you know how like when you go and press your blocks and sometimes you put folds? So this is perfect for you to press these without those folds. You see it? 
Okay. You're doing great, all right. I can see a star there. But he thinks I'm gonna do eight diamonds. Um. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And again, I'm pressing towards my left, right? And the very first thing, I hold it with my hands this way. And then I just start pressing. And I try not to press the outsides, believe it so much, because I just know I'm dealing with uh, what, um, all everything and the bias, you know? And there is our diamond. Can I see the back? You want to see the back? Oh, you want to see the back? There's the back. Okay? And you always, like I say, this is going to be maybe your best friend because look, that's you, you just constantly going to measure your quarter of an inch. Now, I think it's awesome that Orion did all this for us, but I don't think I need to do another diamond for you, do I? Okay. After this, after I do this diamond, then where is my number two? Let me see what he did. Oh, he did really good. Uh, I think your number two is your number three. Oh, okay. So that this is my next one. And yes, you know what? I, even though he must have not found number two. Because the next one is on top. Where is my paper? Here, actually, I'll read now. Okay. That, that's okay. That, I, I will just show them. This, um, and he, he went really well. So the next one is my number two. And I did use a clip, you know, and it's right here. And basically is the number two, the number two comes one. You see it? And so on. And then you just keep going and going around. And you can see your, uh, your diamond. And then now after this, let me, that w this is the next one. Now you start seeing color. You see it? And then after this, you, uh, or oh, five, it's, uh, you start seeing your colors go on and so on. So you, you with me, and I don't need to sew another diamond, right? You understand the concept. Then. You just come, this is when you come, and you don't have to struggle to press at all because it's already been pressed. Now you just set in the seams, okay? And that's your diamond. And another thing I learned when I'm working with something uh, tricky or I don't want to distort my seams, I uh, leave it in my pressing mat for a little while until it cools off. I don't want to pick it up, is it? Okay? So that's that, and uh, we're done with that, and we're done with that. Very good job, and I will show you the rest of it with another color, so you understand the concept of this, this pattern, right? Does anybody have a question on it? I'm going to show you how to do the quarters and how to sew everything together, but I basically now working with this, um, with this pattern with this layout. Everybody's okay? Yeah. You wonder, okay. So, th and that's what they tell you, do nine. And then, and then all they say, they, what they do, they uh, lay out all, all their diamonds and corners, but they never did tell you what to do. So that's where I'm go I will show you. Yeah, they just jumped. Yeah, they just jumped. You know, I'm like, oh, okay. So, <coughs> there, um, this is an, another layout, then like you tell you, this is when Orion, remember when he told you earlier that this was the same technique? Well, this is, it is the same except that this is four patch and this is nine patch, okay? And then, um, and then this is nine patch. Then I saw it, I just kept looking around and then this particular one, then I saw, oh yeah, and you wanna see that reverse side? And they're all going the same direction, okay? And then eventually I will show more. This particular one, <coughs> I'm going to show you. Oh, I'll show this in a minute. That one is this. It's another free pattern AccuQuill has. Uh, through me, I, I, they all look like the snowflakes. And I love them all, but I also feel when you use your very lights and the points, you lose your points. Mm -hmm. 
you don't see that pretty. So that's why I pick my darkest to be in the top. And then I looked, they're all the same way I will show you. Uh, the only, the one I picked that was more attracted to me is this one. I could see the continuation. And this is the one I lay out. But it's just how you lay out your colors, okay? This has a lot of uh, background, see it, on it. And, and you just keep making it uh, any layout that, so you get that, right? And this one, then Orion showed you. See how pretty that is? That's the one with the bear spa. And which the I'm just gonna lay you one of these. Uh, oh, so let me go back to this one. The one I lay out is um, only need um, I only need one of these. See? Um, and then yeah, that's all I need. I just need one. I'm not gonna do a lot. All right. And then, oh, my printed one. Yes, I don't want that white ones. Okay, so you do this, then then you do your your whites. If you have already a sample, you can just do it. Then do this, and then do your white again, and then you do this, and then do white again. You see, there is your nine patch. You see it? Nice. You got it? Yep. You d I d we don't need this anymore, right? <laughs> but do you see it? And another thing, now that I lay this out, you know, uh, actually, let me lay one more for him. <laughs> Sorry. Right. I just need one of each because I want, red. yeah, I need the red and my white. So I'm going to show you what you can do. With, um, you can also do the opposite, and your center is going to be so much fun, too. If uh, you li line it up, <coughs> let me see if I can move this this way. And I'm going to start with this on top, my two whites, my green, my two whites, and my black. And did I do it right? No, I did something. There? There. <laughs> okay, there. There, right? Correct. There. Yeah. Now, I'm not sewing it, but I'm going to show you. If uh, you join these together, right here, your... Um, <coughs> I don't know what it's doing. Am I doing it this right? No, I went back. You're okay. Yeah? Yeah, just keep on with just the white. Just keep it. And then this is going to go right there. Right here, right? Mm hmm Okay, perfect. So in your center, instead of you, ha I was looking, but I, because I wanted to do it for your guys, but I just wanted to show you what happened here, there. In the center, if, if I didn't press all mine to one side with a top color this, this could have been my top color. And you would have had every other color in the bottom you start. You see what I mean? By you just flipping your diamond, but you need to start it. See, see what I'm saying? You will create that, that look. But when yesterday, when I said, oh, I'm going to do it, and I say, no, I already had pressed everything to one direction. That's why I didn't want to do that. Okay, you're right. Now I'm going to do what your mom does. <laughs> Luckily, we I'm have like, a bag. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to go there. There is this one. <laughs> That's a funny one, right? Okay. Now, let's go back again with our technique. Then they never really showed us. So, now I have my parts here, but I want it to be nicely and show there on it. What? I'll explain what I did. Okay, explain then what you did because I loved it. Well, so this is um, this is that glitter. Um, it's kind of like a glitter vinyl. You can buy it from Kimberbell, and I took an old ruler and I sanded off all the, um, the the lines on it so it looked like it was different. 
and then I just glued it on and took a razor blade and sh 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 cut it around. And it's really grippy. Yes. So you That's can put your stuff on there and it's not going to move. It's um, not in the result. The, but you so. will have to use like a stiletto mm -hmm. or like a purple thing to go and mm -hmm. peel it off. Yeah. So if yep. you want something to like See? really stay. Okay. There. Use that. Yes. So and at first it kind of like it's too shiny at me, but I really liked it. I have be honest. Um, w now that we're talking about these years ago, Gail g give us a folder that you put sandpaper on it. It's, it's an Omni grid. Um, uh, it's a fold and and I think they're fold and go maybe. Um, they have sandpaper on one side. Then they have a pressing side and then a leather piece that flips oh, over that. Oh, it's another product that you have it that you're going to sell. Yeah, they still but sell they it. Say, yeah, but still available. hers is a, just a folder with the same paper, then I also love it. But this is just stays really large. So, anyway, so here we are where our diamonds all press the same direction, right? And that's why I could not turn it this way now because I don't want my seams to go in opposite direction. But that's what I was telling you. Okay, but it's an, a thing. So I'm going back to that, and after I had all my diamonds, I always like to go and do um, a quarter of an inch here uh, with this. And it's a habit for me because I just like to be very precise on it, you know, there. Uh, I do that, and I make a mark a dot. And I do it in all. All, um, all eight diamonds on both sides. See? There we go. Okay. If I wasn't doing our Accio quilt, I would be marking it in here too. But I, I learned that I do not need to with the Accio quilt. Okay, then there it is, and I have the center is my my red, if you want to call it. I, I was still going to need that later. Then you flipped. And are you going to anchor it with a pen? No. 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 Um, I line up my corners. I think Eleanor really likes pins, and a lot of you might like it. I. I managed to work with my nails, if you're willing to pay lots of money monthly. So is they're very strong, you know? But if not, you can use your stiletto or bulk or whatever they hold. Um, me, I use pins a lot, but in certain things, I always, whenever I pin myself, and somebody tell me it's because I'm left-handed, but I don't think so. I always pin from left to right because I want I want them away from my uh, foot because I feel like the foot, especially if it's so precise piece, it shifts it on me. Mm -hmm. So whenever I pin anything I pin, I pin away. Mm -hmm. And right here, you don't need to pin away. What is happening here, now that Orion says, see, uh, this will shift on me, you know? So especially when I have my a quarter of an inch guide, this will give me bulk, and it doesn't, my seam is, doesn't set nicely. That's just me, but, you know, you find a way to do things. Well, th oh, I love my pants. Thanks for asking. Oh, you look, I want to show you something else. They're yeah. magic pins. Uh, th oh, they call magic pins. Let me show you, then this has been my favorites lately. Because they're so, f I don't know, I can grab them. Other ones, it's just me. I have such a hard time picking these up sometimes. And these ones, I grab them so easily. And there's so many different sizes. These are so fine. Do you see that? And they come in different colors. So they're different sizes and different thicknesses. It's a company called Taylor Seville. They have um, new ones that they advertise that have a, a larger ring, um, every other ring, so it's a little bit easier to grip. It kind of goes in between your fingerprint um, uh, knobs. It has, yeah, it has grids in it, so it's easy. It doesn't slip down it, and I do use this a lot, but I'll also I use uh, many kinds of pins. 
see how, do you see the difference? It, this is the, so I do like different widths for different things. So, okay, that's that's my pin. And, oh, All I forgot. the pins are labeled. So they're labeled silk pins, mm -hmm. uh, regular pins, ultra fine, fine. Yeah. And then I forgot to tell you about my pin cushion. I don't know if you still have that dye or if they sell it. But it's, a, it's an AccuQuill dye. We do. And it's so fun that um, we're just going to make this in a class. It's an ornament dye, right? But no, no. It's a, a, long, no. a long strip, a long oh, skinny. Oh, okay, okay. It's a pin cushion. And then in here, I, um, Brenda gave us this for Valentine's for a lot of us. And she just put, a, of course, had to be, you know, hard and so on. But it comes, that die comes with a sewing machine and, oh. and a spool on it. So I think it's, it's really cute and fun. It's basically it's just a long strip. And then they, every time you pivot the corners, it's already a cut there. And then it has an opening just right here on the side. And that's it. Isn't it cute? Anyway. Okay, go back to my class, right? <laughs> so again, uh, I, I don't really have to do nothing because remember I was careful with my pressing, careful how I press with a purple thing and so on. Then I line up, I always have to line up my point here and look, I don't have to do anything here, just line up. But then here, you can feel the seams that they're locking together. See, do you see the seam locking right there? You, you see it? They're lacking, okay? That's why I was not able to turn it this way because look, my seams go in the same direction, okay? So now again, let's not make a mistake, Teresa. Going this way, I'm gonna start sewing. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, the purple thing, you can see. It. Now I am gonna start sewing right on this dot never before the dot. You, that's the, that's the very crucial thing for white seams. Never before, it's best if you start sewing after, but, n but never before the dot. So you start under that and continue, okay? So I'll show you. And I, if I can, if my machine has a lock seam uh, in place, I do about two or three lock things in place. To anchor it down. Mm -hmm. But if it not, oh, sorry. I'm not. So I come here. I will find my dot. Again, do it on your dot. Oh, yeah, this has an anchor. I'm going to anchor it. Oops. No, it went back. Sorry, mine is, I don't want it. I. This machine doesn't have an anchor, I guess. Or oh, maybe it's this one. I'm sorry. I'm just, don't use, I don't use this. Maybe it's this one. No, it goes back. So I'm going to cut it out because I cannot, I cannot start before my, um, I cannot start before. So when I don't have an anchor, and that goes for anyone that don't have a, such a fancy machine, you know, that I will tell you what I do in a basic machine. Don't worry, I sew in a machine that cost me $100 for 20 years. <laughs> so it works. Any machine that does a straight seam works for anything you do in your life. Okay, so you go there and... Why don't you just push the needle down a couple times? Uh, because it's moving forward. Oh, what? So, so what I do, I just uh, da, da, da. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm I having difficulty that I don't use it. I just go back and move my 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 one step by hand. Do you so? I just work by hand, one step back, just to anchor it, because you're gonna work with that a lot. And now do you see why, what I'm doing, it? which is that you're very good with the U.S. ladder, you do this, you know, and do. And then I just, I just find that, and I'm not going to worry about anything except the next uh, thing I have to anchor, you know? And I 
And I think when you make such a project that has so much um, detail, it's best that you slow down, that you do not go so fast. Okay, I learned that through it. There you go, see? Yeah. It just, that they just, it just comes together. And you notice that I press always just like the seam mostly, and I try not to do nothing in my bias. You see it? Okay, now. No, only here, because this is the center. You, d you don't need to stop a quarter of an inch because you're not going to match in it. This is your inserts. Okay. The outside is going to be your inserts. Mm -hmm. see, it, see it right here? The inserts is right here, not in the center. Okay, so that's why, yes, I started right there in my point there. Okay? And now. Switch the bias. Mm -hmm. I did, didn't I? And then um, this is my corners, and again, I it's just a habit for me with this, but it is very precise. I do, uh, I do my corner mark, and I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm gonna show you. And I do that that little tip, okay. Then look at this, then I open it back on, and if it, you're okay, it just goes, see? See how it line up? Okay, you see it? And then you come with your square and line it up, and if it, you're really with the Accio quilt, I notice then I don't have to worry. That little tip, the tip from the diamond, and this second point matches your point there. And I feel it. I feel it with my finger here, then I'm not on top of my diamond on top. Do you see Then I don't know if I've shown you. You all see it? Do you see it, Eric? Okay. Yeah. Then after I'm going to start there, then I just come back and see that here and the bottom, they match. And if uh, you, I think right here, you, you certainly can use pens. And I would go with a very fine pen, which I think they called silk. I don't know. But it's a very fine, the very, very fine pen. And uh, another thing, if I'm going to pen, I'm going to, I do not lift my fabric, whether I pen from the right or the wrong side. When you lift your fabric, you're moving one in or out. And so I just I just keep keep it down and pin it. Okay? So now we will insert this. Okay, so I'll go back one stitch. See, I told you I can do with any machine, so any uh, stitch. My machine had only 20 stitches, and it was just fine for a while. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now that I did that seam, you just look at this. You're just going to turn it around and look. It lays right back in that corner for you. You see it? And then you just turn it, and then you don't have to do anything else. Just line this up and then come back to the corner, okay? When I did this one, I do from the inside to the outside. Okay. When I flipped it this way, because I'm going to need to do this, I need to do it from the outside to the inside to my dot. Okay. Okay? Okay. 
and stop and the point or before, not after, okay? Good job. Just checking. I know, I do that same thing. Now, this is it. I press my seam where I was. I will close it right there. Do you see them? I'm hiding myself in it. Then I finger press or my purple thing. Because when I go to the RM board, I just want to set the seam. I don't want to distort them. See? Okay, you go ahead and press that for me. From the back side? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in front. And just let it cool off a little bit. Thank you. And then, of course, I had four of these. That's it. Okay. And then you just line them all up. There it is there and there, okay? And then I, I will sew it for you, but I just wanna show you this. Then this is that, that, oops, that, and that, okay? And would you like me to sew the black together or do you, are you all okay? See how, and see how I have all my marks, um, my things m marked? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to sew the corner at all. Oh, I know that uh, Stephanie wants me to just have so insert one, but this is, this is what you would do, okay? Thanks for asking. No, not at all. And that's what I say, okay, well, I just gonna focus on just showing them this. Well, it is free. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that they did a good job for free. What? That's why we have you to question it. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I don't have my, my knee left. That's okay, I, not a big deal. To go over the bumps. Mm -hmm. She has a knee lift on her I'm other machines and it just lifts up over the bump. She just kind of, she's trying to push up <laughs> <laughs> on her. Yes. <laughs> and it wasn't there. Mm, yes. Yes, for sure. But you know, even I think that older, older machines always had that because I had in my very old machine. I always was so used to that knee lift. Well, you know, my very first job here was in a um, assembly line in Galesburg, Illinois. Um, and I had those huge commercial machines, you know, and they had a knee lift and I always use it all the time. I'm just feeling my, um, my seams so they can join together, hopefully. Now I'm doing it the old way, instead of not going back. <laughs> and go back, one more thing, there. Okay. Okay, the reason I didn't want to do just half, just so I can show you assembly line. Then I can turn these, and then, should I look at it first? <laughs> well, now you saw it, everything. See it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this purple thing, I, I just, I can't believe it. I have not used it in ever. And now you're in love. Yes, I am. I, I just say, where is my purple thing? Okay, okay? Then you flip it over this way, okay? <laughs> oh, that's nice. 
I'm glad that oh, I'm glad that you're learning something. I guess I have to give it to my mother. She was not easy on that. Everything, everything we thought you did such a perfect job. We say, well, well, <laughs> you know, oh God. Yeah, this is when I need my knee lift. No, my nails. It's big. Perfect. <coughs> we can go back to the Courtney Bay website and watch the insect scene. So she's stopping again at the, the mark? Mm hmm And I go back because I don't have my um, locking in place, okay? And the well, good thing is Stephanie asked me to this because then, oh, s it unfortunately, it's red and red. So I'm taking that thread that went across, and I'm cutting it. And then I'm going to do what you call this. And sew. And sew the, the straight line from both sides, okay, and then I will, I give him a little pull, see that little center there, mm -hmm. then, then it should open, I'm s unfortunately it's red on red so you can't see anything. She's swirling the seams so they're all going to open up and go in a circle. Mm -hmm. And then if I didn't quite get the, the thread over, you can still do it here. But the, I see, again, unfortunately you don't see, I don't think much, but um, it's, we can see it's it. there, okay? Then, okay? And then I will turn it over. I, I, I don't think I press until the very, very end, you know? So um, now, would you like me to insert one side? Okay. <laughs> then what do you do? I do the same thing, my little ruler. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask. That's why I went to say, well, I want to use this thing. <laughs> so we did it. There, there are mats on, on the market, and they use a little bit of a sandpaper. But I found that my um, just playing with it, my fingers started to wear down. So the it takes just a little bit of your skin every time you pick up something. And if you're doing a big project, you eventually you have a little point that if you touch it, it's very sensitive. This? Uh, yeah, it's just this. Mm -hmm. The sparkly vinyl. Uh, just a, a, a bad ruler. So just use your old ruler. <laughs> Now l the corner work. Uh, um, excuse me. The side triangle works the same as the corner. You just flip it over your diamond, and you're going to insert it right in your little dot, and line up again. See, line up this point with that point of your diamond, and then you don't have to do anything else. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to my. Knee lift, I'm looking for it. And you know, this machine has it, it's just somewhere. I bet it just might be on the floor because Elle never got used to it, so I never put it on for her. I'm going to open up the, just to the very end. Uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. I, it might be in the bottom. It's not a big deal. I have another. It could be in the very bottom. I, underneath the white. Yeah. If this is there, if it's not, I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't think it is. I know where I put it. Okay. See. See, see how, oh, and I hate all these threads myself, but 
see I stopped right there and now what I'm going to do, I turn it is the same method as your corner, see? Then I come back and I line it up right there and the edge right there and I'll start sewing and look, look I don't have to do anything, look how it stopped right there in the other side in the corner, see? Mm -hmm. I start in the center and go out and then the next seam I do out to the center. And I don't even know why, to be honest with you, so. <laughs> okay, all right. Because you're doing a why. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. See, see how I say, well, I cannot take another seam. So I chose to stop before, again, not after. And I showed you that it's not going to make any, any harm. It will not get together here if you go after. See, it will lay dry flat. You see it? Okay. And you got it? And that reverse side is just like this. And and the finished one, uh, it's right there. Is any questions that your ladies want to ask? Or can I help in any way, other way? Uh, so Brenda suggested you go to the AccuQuilt website, and they have a program called Go Quilt, and you can use their patterns to plug in the um, the colors in your fabric or your fabric. But I believe you can cut diamonds and the strip cutters. Like I say, if it's a 60 degree, it's going to be six points. But if it's 45 degree, it's eight points. Mm -hmm. And then another thing, of course, if you're not into technology like I am, you can, when I did this quilt, I paste, I paste my little tiny diamonds with my little scraps to, for me to come up with this. Okay, so you just paste your, uh, your colors on it. And then you just make a copy and do black and white so you're not getting confused with whatever is going on there. Okay? All right. Thank you very much. <laughs>